Hello everyone. In this edition, we are going to discuss some of the species which were recently seen in news and also relevant for UPSC. Our first species is hangul, which is Kashmir stag. It was in news because the experts suggested that the number of hanguls in Kashmir will cross 300 this spring, the first time in more than three decades. Let's talk about some key facts about the hangul. If we talk about its characteristics, it is a unique subspecies of the Asian red deer. Also, the female hangul does not have horns. If we talk about the habitat, they are high altitude forest dwellers. They are located in the Dachigam National Park and the Rajparian Wildlife Sanctuary. Talking about its protection status, they are listed as critically endangered in the IOCN Red List. Also, they are scheduled one species under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. They are also listed in Appendix 1 under Sites. Here, Sites is a multilateral treaty to protect endangered plants and animals from the threats of international trade. Now talking about the conservation status, Jammu and Kashmir has launched Project Hangul in collaboration with IUCN and WWF. Also, Hangul is the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir. Our next species is Golden Langur. It was in news because, according to the latest survey of primate, there are an estimated 7,396 Golden Langurs in India. If we talk about the characteristics of Golden Langur, they are mostly recognized by the color of their fur after which they are named. Their fur changes colors according to the season. Also, males tend to be slightly larger than the females. Let's talk about its habitat. The geographic range of Golden Langur is limited to Assam in India and neighboring Bhutan. The area they inhabit is restricted to regions surrounded by four geographical landmarks which is the foothills of Bhutan in the north, Manas River in the east, Sankosh River in the west and the Brahmaputra River in the south. If we talk about the protection status of the Golden Langur, they are listed as endangered in the IUCN Red List and also they are scheduled one species under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Further, they are listed under Appendix 1 of Sites. Our next species is Greater one Horn Rhino. It was in news because the Supreme Court froze the Assam government's move to denotify Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary, which has a dense population of the Great Indian one Horn Rhino. If we talk about their habitat, they are found in the grasslands and wetlands located in the foothills of the Himalayas and the Brahmaputra and Ganges Valley. The Great one Horn Rhino is commonly found in India, Nepal and Bhutan. In India, they are found in Kajiranga National Park, Manas National Park, Pobitura Reserve Forest, Orang National Park in Assam and Royal Chitwan National Park in Nepal. Let's talk about their protection status. They are listed as vulnerable under IUCN Red List and it is classified as Scheduled one species under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Also, it is classified as Appendix 1 species under Sites. Our last species is Sea Slug. It was in news because the Geological Survey of India named a new marine species of the head shield Sea Slug after President of India Draupadi Murmu. Now, let's discuss about this species. The species was discovered from the West Bengal and the Odisha coast. So far, 18 species have been discovered across the globe, including one tropical species from the Gulf of Thailand. If we talk about its characteristics, it is a brownish black sea slug with a ruby red spot and a maximum length of up to 7 mm. Sea slugs are hermaphroditic, means they possess both male and female reproductive organs. They can reproduce through both sexual and asexual means. If we talk about the distribution, they can be found from the shallow intertidal to the deep sea and from the polar regions to the tropics. With this, we are going to end our discussion. I hope you like this video. For more updates on current affairs, you can follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you.